Hey all you gamer guys and girls, this is Noah giving you guys another Lethal Tactic video. Today is going to be a little how-to on Inkscape on how to make the Call of Duty Black Ops 2 emblem just because I was bored today and I really like using Inkscape and I just figured I might as well make a little how-to of how to make this logo right here. So to get started, I'm using the uh, default format layout of uh, HDTV video just because it comes in a rectangle like this and it just looks it looks like it's going to be good to start off with. So you just draw a black rectangle right to fill this in. Like so. Then you're going to want to zoom in on it a little bit. Then we are going to pick the impact font. Make sure it's white and put call white. There we go. Uh, make the font size 400. Put it about right here. Not quite centered in the middle, but a little bit above that. There we go. Okay, now you're going to do duty. Yes, I did say duty. <laughs> make that 400. Try and line that up as close as you can. To call. There we go. Alright, now we're going to do of. Make it white. Make it 144 sized font. And you're going to put that about there. So now you've got the Call of Duty part of that logo. And I'm going to move this back down again. I have probably had it in the right place before. Alright. Get it centered on this. Okay. Now you're going to have to do that little bit of tweaking to the Call of Duty logo that they did for this game exclusively. So, you're going to want to take your little pin node thing, take it down this line right there. Make sure you keep it even, about equal with that uh, side of the inside of the A. And you uh, want to come right here, go back up to the original starting point, and fill that with black. I'm going to have to move this node over a little bit. And there you go, you got that part of it. Now we got to edit the Y. This is a little bit harder. It's kind of weird, but we are going to get this. We're going to start right about here. Actually, I'm going to start right here. Come right here. Come right here. And come back and go here. I'm actually going to stretch this up a little bit. Make it black. Now you have to take the white and draw a square because there's no legitimate way to just paint freely on Inkscape and page up so it's right underneath there mine's a little bit too tall well, let me select it so I'll have to back up a little bit and then end and page up there you go still got a little bit left right here I'm gonna do that too there you go so now you got the Call of Duty part of it. Now we got to work on the Black Ops part of it. Now, Black Ops, the Black Ops font uses the same font as Black Ops. Uh, the Black Ops 2 font uses the same font as the Black Ops font and the Modern Warfare series, at least for Modern Warfare 2 and Modern Warfare 1. Modern Warfare 3 didn't really use it. But it is called Bank Gothic, I believe. Yes, Bank Gothic MB, MDBP. Some computers uh, include this font default, but some don't. And there it is, white. Alright, so now we're going to make it bigger. And then... Alright, so actually we're going to backspace that some. Blah, blah, blah. 
right now, if you, this is for Inkscape, so like if you were using Photoshop or something, you could probably do this a little bit easier. Not really easier, but a different way. So we're going to just do the B first. Uh, make it about, let's say, 144 size font. Maybe a little bit bigger. Let's do 175. Eh, how about a little bit more? 200. Okay, so that's about going to be even with the bottom of the A like I thought. So it's going to be about right here. And it's going to be somewhat close to it, about right there. And then you want to take this and you want to draw a little rectangle and make it black so that Hold on. Made that a little bit too much over. So you can cover up part of the B. And then you got your B done in Black Ops. And now we're going to type L A. Make its font size 200. Get it about right here. And now you're want going to want to, if this will let me think he's popping up you want to go to this option right here and try and go down until the a and the l are touching like in the logo it's going awfully slow all right that looks a little bit too much let's make it 30 there we go that's where you're gonna have to need it or have to have it rather at 30 and uh, now we are going to edit that hold on let me make this just a little bit thinner it seems a little bit too thick okay now we're going to edit the A take this go up to the middle of the A follow that line go there back right there and then make this black and there you go you got the A so uh, then you have to uh, you have to type a C there oh whoa, what's going on <laughs> okay C white 200 you're gonna want that pretty decently close to the A and I think you can just yeah just type CK in this and make this about 25.00 no that's the wrong one never mind 25.00 neg so actually a little bit more than that 29 let's say or we can just go ahead and say that whatever okay we're gonna have to keep going down mm, trying to experiment right now I haven't done this before I'm just experimenting to see how much it'll need to be moved to make it proper so you guys will see me experimenting a lot just to figure out how close it needs to be. Okay, 40. Now you are going to want to edit the C and the K. For the C, you will want to take this uh, box and make it black. Just take out those two. and get it right and there you go that's the C and now to the K K is a little bit different than the others you will want to try and line this up as much as you can and get this about the same angle as uh, the line on the K goes down and you want to cut this out or not and then black and there you go Actually, I'm going to move that down just a tad because 
There we go. So now you got the black and black ops down. And now we're going to move on to the ops part of it. Now let's take another little glimpse at it. Alright. So these are all gonna these we do not need to type separately, so we're just gonna type that whole word. Ops white two hundred. And we're going to make them forty away from each other. Or not forty, negative forty away from each other. Okay. <laughs> Never mind. Let's make it thirty. No, let's make it yeah, thirty. Alright, thirty-five in. Alright. Make a little bit less. Alright, so now you'll want to zoom in on the P and the S. And cut out that part of the P. And now you're wanna gonna wanna cut out this part of the S. And there you go, that's the Black Ops part of it. So now you have it where it says Call of Duty Black Ops. And of course, you'll need to move them a little bit closer together. So let's move this right there. And now for the little two symbol, you're going to have to take this. And you're going to have to make about that thickness. Make it the link of the S then make it white so you can see it just for now and move it about right here let's make sure it's even just to make sure alright there we go and now you're gonna wanna take this again and go in right here and go down Let's click the straight thing so we can make sure it's perfectly straight and do the angle again try to get as much to the same angle as you can and black that out I'm gonna need to move it up a little bit so I can get it centered alright so that's that uh, how about we actually make a little bit shorter center it again There you go, that's the little two emblem. Now you got to select them. And I'm going to actually. No, I'm not, I'm not going to do that. I'm going to copy and paste. Flip it horizontal. And then put it right here. Now I'm just going to go back up here and sample the color just so I can make sure I have it properly. Actually, I need a little bit more editing done to it to make it look good and dandy. This is going to be much smaller. And I'm just going to take this one out. Make this one a little bit... No, not like that. Make this one a little bit wider, about like so. Now we're going to select it again, copy it. Now it looks like it's about the right size. I did I did think it was a little bit skinny the last, whenever I was doing it a second ago, but yeah. Oh god. Now I'll get it about there. Now let's copy the color. You're gonna get your little dropper. You're gonna copy that color. And like this. So like those two, do not select the things that you made to cover up part of them. And then make them this color. And there you have it guys. Now you have made your own Call of Duty Black Ops 2 emblem. You can edit it however you want. Uh, once you've gotten this far, you, it's basically exactly how theirs is. And all you can, all you have to do is just try and edit it a little bit. The only thing it doesn't have is the regist registration mark, but I don't really care. I, I'm sure I can type it in.
If you like this video, be sure to follow this link to my most recent video. As always, smack that like button and give that subscribe button a little bit of loving to keep up to date. If you like my new intro and my new outro, comment down below. Worked really hard on making them. I appreciate it, guys. Thanks for watching. Peace.